Welcome back. This week, Attorney General and adorable ogre Muppet, William Barr, announced sanctions on so-called sanctuary cities and states where local law enforcement don't cooperate with ICE to deport undocumented immigrants. He's so adorable, isn't he? He doesn't look like a sanctuary. Here to explain is an abrasive native New Yorker, Naomi Caravani. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? It's an interview, Naomi. I'm supposed to look at you. So, aren't sanctions something we do against enemy countries? That's... Exactly. Sanctions on Iran and China were such a success, so Trump is bringing them home to sanction ourselves. <laughs> First, New York City. But let's be honest, we had it coming. It's too diverse, and the public transit functions way too well to be part of the U.S. <laughs> but what is the country going to do without New York City? Get bagels from Panera? <laughs> People will be dead by noon. Naomi, the sanctions are not bagel embargoes. <laughs> oh, so you're now an expert on this story? You know what? You do it. No, it's your job. <laughs> oh, look who came crawling back. <laughs> so local police in sanctuary cities refuse to work with ICE because undocumented immigrants are less likely to report crimes, making the city more unsafe. So Trump decided to sanction the police. A federal court just ruled that he can withhold millions in law enforcement grants to force states to cooperate with immigration enforcement. I can't believe he's taking money from the police. That's ridiculous. I thought he loved racist fascists. I don't even know him anymore. I, I guess there's a good side. I like the police having less money to buy fewer military-grade weapons. Oh, yeah. Community crime prevention and drug treatment programs are also getting sanctioned. So there will be more crime for the police to handle, and then voila, they'll be forced to allow ICE to come into their jails. Or... The sanctuary of California will be run by a drug cartel. I mean, a different drug cartel than the Sacklers <laughs> who run the state now. So Lee, are you ready for the Civil War coming up? Come on, this is not a war. <laughs> it's a war. You think the feds are sending in SWAT teams to make friends? There's SWAT teams involved? Yeah, Washington is sending specially trained officers in the Border Patrol Tactical Unit, or BORTAC, that are normally involved in high-risk and potentially violent operations to sanctuary cities such as Chicago, New York, San Francisco, and L.A. And they're sending their best. <laughs> This video was taken recently at a Border Patrol Tactical Unit training, which offers agents a chance to prepare for high-risk operations. Becoming a member is no easy feat. Candidates undergo weeks of intense exercises in small unit and defensive tactics, operation planning, advanced weapon skills, and air mobile operations. You know, I like how they jump in the water. <laughs> Public pools should have SWAT team hours. It's only fair. Were they throwing grenades? Holy shit, this is a war. Why are you panicking, Lee? Sure, it's a war against America's most liberal cities, but we have hundreds of freelance graphic designers slash DJ slash Mannies on our side. <laughs> Every WeWork is a situation room. Jesus, we're really waging war and sanctioning our own cities? This is insane. And, I mean, these SWAT teams won't necessarily round up more undocumented immigrants. Border Patrol can't search or arrest anyone without a warrant or reasonable suspicion, but they can scare the shit out of everyone. I mean, imagine seeing a guy carrying an AK, grenades, and armor just walking on the sidewalk. And imagine how slow that guy will walk weighed down by all that gear. You know, uh, I better practice getting stuck behind one. Hey! Hey, I'm walking here. You walk slower than my grandmother, and she's dead. Now we can't everyone! Faster than you. 